Welcome to a one minute mythic plus guide to void weaver disc priest. My name is Elven Ninja 7 let's get into it. The build you go looks like this and will be in the description below. For stats go haste, then verse equals crit, then mastery. Disc priest is all about maintaining atonements on your allies so they're healed based on the damage that you do and lining up your damage spell cooldowns to maximize your atonement healing. You can apply atonement with flash heal, renew, or power word shield in a pinch but the best way is using radiance since it's AoE. As for your rotation, as the tank is gathering mobs, apply power word shield to them and apply your dot purge the wicked on the priority enemies. Once this dot is spread or if you need to jump into healing instantly you can start your ramp. Start by reapplying atonement with radiance then summon your mindbender to enhance all of your shadow damage, cast mind blast for further increased damage from schism and entropic rift, cast penance for massive damage and to increase the strength of entropic rift, then if you're doing aoe damage you can cast halo but otherwise you can spam smite slash void blast until penance is ready to be used again. These void blasts do double atonement healing and reduce the cooldown of your mindbenders so you can do it all again sooner. Outside of your ramp, you want to use your other charge of radiance for healing and atonement. Maintain power word shield on your tank and use penance and smite for damage. But save mind blast for your ramps. Cast halo and holy nova when rhapsody is charged up for aoe damage. For spot healing in a pinch, you can cast power word life if they're low, cast flash heal or power word shield if they need it, or even use your penance on them if you really need to. Also apply pain suppression as an external mitigation on the tank or anyone that will take significant damage. Outside of mindbender ramping, your cooldowns are barrier to make a zone of damage mitigation and rapture to enhance your next three power word shields. Finally, use power infusion at a time that will enhance your DPS damage the most as well as your own ramp thanks to twins. And with that, you're done with this one minute guide. You're ready to get into those keys and start blasting. Like this video on your way out and let me know what you think of this format down below. Subscribe so we can hit 10k and I'll see you there.